Good evening. Well, welcome back to, <laughs> to the weekend mass. Well, this is what I expected. Uh, people may take some time, you know, before coming back to mass. But I'm glad that you are here. So there is a little change in the mass because of this pandemic, because we have to keep the social distance, and because we are wearing the mask. So we are going to, because we are not going to use the books, they are not available. Um, the songs will be sung by the cantor. We are going to recite the Gloria and the Creed. After the Lamb of God, myself and Deacon will receive the Holy Communion. Then we'll have the final prayer, blessing, and the dismissal. After that, we are going to give you communion. I ask you to remain in your seat. We will come to you to give communion. So those who would like to receive, usually everybody does, but those who would like to receive communion, you may stand or kneel as you wish. And that is it for now. Let us see. Uh, eventually, maybe in the coming weeks, I expect more people. Thank you. Good evening. Welcome to Our Lady of Sorrows Church, St. Teresa of Calcutta Parish, and this Holy Mass. Please turn off your cell phones. Join me in reciting the prayer for vocations. Jesus, our brother, and our eternal high priest, you told us that the harvest is great, but the workers are few. You ask us to pray to the Lord of the harvest, send workers into his fields. Give to our church of the world today, to our leaders from among our families and friends in the Diocese of Norwich. Give them the willingness to answer your call to serve as priests, deacons, sisters, and brothers. May we all have the strength and courage to serve you and your people in whatever way you call us. Amen. Today we celebrate the 14th Sunday in Ordinary Time. This Mass is offered for the parish. Please stand. The name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, we are grateful and thankful to God for coming into his sanctuary to offer this holy sacrifice. 
Today we pray that God may give us his healing and his blessings. I forgot to tell you about the offertory. We will have no offertory procession. We will have no collections. But there are two baskets, one there, one here. So when you leave, you can leave the envelopes there. Now let us call to mind our sins and ask the God's pardon. I confess to Almighty God <clears throat> that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, <clears throat> only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, Receive our prayers. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who in the basement of your son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. Thus says the Lord, Rejoice heartily, O daughter Zion. Shout for joy, O daughter Jerusalem. Say, your king shall come to you. A just savior is he, meek, and riding on an ass, on a colt, the foal of an ass. He shall banish the chariot from Ephraim and the horse from Jerusalem. The warrior's bow shall be banished, and he shall proclaim peace to the nations. His dominion shall be from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord.
a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, you are not in the flesh. On the contrary, you are in the spirit, if only the spirit of God dwells in you. Whoever does not have the spirit of Christ does not belong to him. If the spirit of the one who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, the one who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies also through his spirit that dwells in you. Consequently, brothers and sisters, we are not debtors to the flesh to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to little ones. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. After about 10 or 11 weeks, we are here, and what an appropriate gospel we have today. Come to me, all you who are labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. All these weeks, we have been longing to come to the house of God to pray together, to celebrate Mass, and to receive the Holy Communion. And the words are these, come to me and I will give you rest. These words are spoken not only to us, those who are here, to our parish people, those who want to come but yet cannot, to the peoples in the world, those who are still in fear of this virus, those who are struggling for life in terms of healing 
and food. And Jesus tells everybody, come to me and I will give you rest. Today I ask you to pray, first of all, for our parish, for all the people belonging to our parish, that they may receive the blessings, especially the healing of God. We also pray for the world, that all the peoples in the world may also receive the blessings of God and be in touch with the divinity. Today, as you receive the Holy Communion, after quite a long time, please pray that God may be always within us to give us strength and to guide us. Now please stand. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, <clears throat> God of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified and at Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. He rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and it seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets, I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism. <clears throat> and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen. With humble hearts, we come before God to speak for our needs and those of the world. That the members of the church be filled with the Spirit and recommit themselves as good stewards. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders and people of this great country provide adequate care for those injured in its service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those responsible for public safety, especially firefighters, police, and military personnel, come home safely to their families let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who are weary from the burdens of daily life find support and solace in the love of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That all who gather at this table find in their faith the strength to meet every difficulty. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all people suffering with the coronavirus, for a speedy discovery of a successful vaccine for it, for the doctors, the nurses, first responders, and all who help those who are sick, and for their families and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to racial injustice and discrimination, for all people to live in peace and love for each other, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the deceased of our parish, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the intentions we voice now in the silence of our hearts. May all of our petitions, those spoken and unspoken, be joined to those of our Blessed Mother, St. Joseph, St. Teresa of Calcutta, and all the saints who stand before the throne of God. We pray to the Lord.
Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, your dominion is over all the earth. By the power of his Spirit, answer the prayers that we make in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands to the praise and glory of the name, forever and all this holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name, O Lord, purify us and day by day bring our contact closer to the life of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. Yea, and so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, 
the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, can't eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was he ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, can drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new, in eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith <clears throat> Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, he and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, in all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. <clears throat> Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Teresa of Calcutta, in all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Art the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father. Lord in heaven, 
Lord be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power of the Lord. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that he should get you. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.